Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Disney's All Key West Resort. We actually got off the Disney Wish this morning. If you want to see those vlogs, I'll have them linked down below. But today we checked into Disney's All Key West for the last week of our trip. And I'm so excited because we are staying in a two bedroom villa, which for us is like our dream room. <laughs> Let me show you around. It's a little bit chaotic. There are four of us here unpacking at the moment, but I'll show you the room because guys, it's incredible. <laughs> we are in room 2422, which is on Peninsula Road. So Peninsula Road, if you're not familiar, is basically the road that comes from the main lobby. The main lobby is just over here. And I'm gonna do what everybody else does when they do their room tours, where I enter from the outside and pretend I haven't been inside yet, except, you know, all my stuff is already gonna be in there. Oh no, oh no, oh dear. It's not working. Well, that was a fail. The magic band's not working. Hi. <laughs> you couldn't open the door. Why? I don't know. I didn't think it was you. Oh, you thought it was the luggage people? Yeah, the the bell service. <laughs> Anyone else have anxiety about answering the door? <laughs> anyway, I'm inside. My magic band didn't work. They did say that like we have apparently a lot of magic bands, and it might take a while for them all to update and link to the room. So hopefully that's all that is. But anyway, oh, yeah. we're now inside the room. Like I said, it's a little bit chaotic. There is a little bit of unpacking going on. But let's have a look. Ooh. We've got our cleaning closet in on the left-hand side as you come in and it's got some hangers and stuff and some storage space. We'll probably use this to store some cases. Now I love this on the left-hand side. We've got this little sort of shelf that you can just store a couple of bits that you need as you're running out the door. And then we've got a nice mirror as well. I've cleared some of the baggage out now so I can show you the living space a little bit better. Um, so this here is actually a chair bed. It's a really nice one. And my friend Natasha stayed in this last time we had the two bed. I think she might come stay with us again on this trip. And we've actually put her on the room so she can come and enjoy like the extended evening hours and stuff with us, which you get with the deluxe resorts. And um, But they've got some nice artwork in the background then as well. Now we've got windows like the whole way around plus the doors out onto the patio. So it's really bright in here. It's one of the things I love about Old Key West. I always find the rooms are quite bright and it just feels less like a room and more like a bit of a kind of like a villa or like vacation home kind of vibe, which I really do like. Then we've got the sofa. This is a sofa bed. These sofa beds I don't find are the best. I actually think the chair bed had a bit of a nicer mattress on it um but yeah we've got a sofa bed and then this is just a regular sofa and then we've got our table cute mat and stuff and um, i love this lamp over here with the chair this is what you see i'm pretty sure they have this icon on the way in and um, if you're coming from disney springs i think that's the way that you see it we've got our phone and remote control for the tv then we've got this table i actually don't even know if we ever sat on this table last time um but uh, it's a really nice table. It's got four chairs, as you can see. <laughs> Rachel is raiding the fridge freezer over there. Do you want to demonstrate the fridge freezer? This is the door where you open it. <laughs> it's really big though, look. Here, does that make ice? Oh no, isn't it? didn't we figure this out? There's something you have to press. Oh, I don't think. Ah. I, ah. I turned it on. You turned it on? Yeah, so, so, so. so now it's gonna make ice. I feel like we figured this out really late last time. Oh wait, what's the sentence at the back? Recommended. Let's keep it on recommended, okay. Yeah, so I think you, that that's gonna make ice for us now. That's amazing, okay. And then the fridge. And this is huge, like this is bigger than what we had in our villa. Oh. <laughs> Why did you put them in an ice bucket? Oh gosh, for some reason, dad's Halloween treats are in an ice bucket in the fridge. It's so random. Um, yeah, we've got some like food left over and I, we actually just went to Target on the way here. So just got some salad, some cream cheese and some half and half. We've definitely got some beers um, to keep us going and we've got some LaCroix. Look at these all lined up. Yeah, this is what dad was doing when I went to do, oh. <laughs> I went to start the room tour and then dad's like, da 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 da. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> Spread out our um, Disney Wish glasses. These are the beer glasses that you can get on board. And then you get a really big beer for a cheaper price, but then you can also take them off the ship with you as well. They're really nice, aren't they? So Rachel, Dad and I each got one. 
we've got our giant TV. This is really cool. Only downside of the TVs here, for some reason they have YouTube blocked. They've had it blocked for a couple of years now. No idea why, but um, most of the like stuff that we watch on telly is through YouTube. So um, yeah, that is a bit of a shame. I did bring my fire stick. I'm gonna see if that works. We actually brought the fire stick for the villa, um, but I might give it a go and see if it lets me play YouTube through my fire stick. But I think it's probably the internet that blocks it. But anyway, we'll find out. Here is the cooker. So one good thing about having, you know, one of the villas, if it's a one bed or a two bed, you get full cooking facilities. So we've got cooker, we've got a microwave. Now you'll get a microwave in the studios, um, just not as big as this one. But they give you like all the supplies and stuff you need. So let's have a little look around the kitchen. We've got some utensils, chopping board tray. Let's see what else. We've got some pots and pans. We've got our cutlery drawer, bottle opener. We were missing one of those on the cruise. If you're going on the cruise, don't forget your bottle opener. Our lovely uh, stateroom host did give us one. And we've got some different utensils and stuff in there as well. Then we've got a full dishwasher, which is great. Cause obviously we've got proper like plates and cutlery and things. So obviously they need washing. They're not disposable ones like you get in the studio. A double sink. And then underneath here is just bins and some additional like kitchen towel, some cleaning bits. And then I think there's, is that dishwasher? Oh no, dish soap and a cloth. This one's just an empty one for storage. And we've got some knives in here. Then up above, we've got bagels. They did not come supplied in the room. <laughs> they just came from our Target shop. We've got a mixing bowl. Oh, there's the ice, the ice is going. A huge grater and some sort of container for beverages. Then we've got cups and glasses, lots of different types of glasses for all your beverage needs. Plates, more plates, bowls, a glass dish, more bowls, giant bowls, tray. Oh my gosh, so much. Trays and a strainer and a measuring jug and another bowl. We might consolidate some of this stuff so we have a bit more storage ourselves. And um, I don't know if that's a proper, oh, it is a proper shelf up there over the microwave. And then this is just our stuff as well. We got these Hawaiian rolls. These are really nice. They kind of remind me of like the type of bread you would get before a dinner service. Kind of like the ones you get in Bow House. But yeah, if you heat them up in the microwave with some salted butter, they're gorgeous. I've just left two of our liquid IVs up there. We were supposed to take them today. No wonder we're feeling dehydrated. So dehydrated. So dehydrated. Okay. And then on the kitchen counter itself, we have our toaster and we have... The amenities this is very similar to what you get in the studio as well your coffee your paper coffee cups and lids and stirrers and things and then this is just like a creamer of some sort we've got a nice big coffee pot and that's kind of it then we've got our island here i don't know why our dyson's there <laughs> that's probably not where that needs to go let's move that into the bedroom um and then some shelves we used this last time for kind of storing like food bits snacks and things like that super handy and then we also have this really handy charging port here as well that has usb a slots as well and then this is just the other side of that counter with our <laughs> disney wish mugs we have some tip ready for the bell services when they come and this is our handy dandy cup holder thing cup carrier i talk about this more in the cruise vlogs then over this side, so the other side of the fridge, we have more storage. I feel like all of this is just storage with nothing in it. Yeah, this is just big open cupboards with storage. We've just put all our drinks on there for now. There's the lid off the ice bucket that dad put in the fridge. <laughs> and then we have our shelf up here. Let's just take a step back and have another kind of overview look at this room because it's so big and there's so much space. Rachel's just trying out the... I think I blend this with her. You do. Your black is kind of not as matchy-matchy. Yeah. But now you do. You blend in pretty well. Some old QS vibes. And then outside is our balcony. So we've got a table with four chairs. We're on the second floor. There's nobody above us, which is really nice. I do find sometimes like that's the 
the point where you might hear noise it's just if you have somebody above us so i always request the top floor um or a high floor just because it reduces the noise levels that you're going to hear then and we're looking out onto i think i don't know if it's part of the golf course is maybe over to the right there um, and i think the the villas that we're seeing here are actually on miller's road Ooh, i didn't notice this cute light fixture over the table i don't remember that from last time it says conch flats on it it's likely i just overlooked it last time but um that's really nice too and that is the main living room kitchen space now into the right here is the second bedroom which is essentially an old key west studio if you've ever stayed in a studio before or seen the room tours it pretty much looks like this and um, so you've got your two double are they, i don't know if they're doubles or queens they look more like queens i think they're a decent size and you've got your tv your uh, chest of drawers and these are really nice thick comfortable mattresses got two drawers there as well now this is actually really nice this cupboard here you don't get this in the studio it's a really big cupboard space like a walk-in cupboard space normally in the studio this would be where your door is to the connecting studio like for the lock off and then you'd also have your kitchen here and then you'd walk through your kitchen to the bathroom area whereas here um we obviously have the bigger wardrobe i'm pretty sure you don't get that big wardrobe in the studio but let me know if uh, you've stayed in one recently and like this actually would be really the kitchen area but instead we have an extra vanity space and uh, obviously we don't need an extra kitchen because we've got the big one in the living space and it's just got a good bit of storage um you can see under there as well and a nice big mirror and then we've just got a towel holder and behind then is the second wardrobe in this bedroom and um, so plenty of storage in here and then we're just into the toilet the toilet room is exactly the same as what is in the studios your vanity area here with your storage and then your bath with the shower head up here as well so yeah very similar to a studio if you've seen that um just minus the kitchen space add in the vanity and the extra wardrobe space i think there is like a side wardrobe space in the regular rooms but it's it's definitely not like that it's not a big not a big room like that that actually might be the side i think where your your door to the outside is that makes more sense because usually the table is on the opposite side to where you enter so that makes more sense there's got some nice um artwork in here as well so let's have a wander on now over to the second bedroom but first the laundry room there's something so nice about being able to do your own laundry in your own room and not have to go to the laundry spots oh it's just so handy you go home with then a suitcase of clean clothes we've also got an iron and ironing board and then we've got some cleaning bits here as well now if we keep walking We'll come into the master bedroom which is just fabulous i mean look at this gorgeous chair we've got the two side lockers the huge bed this is like a king size king size or super king maybe it's a king it is pretty big i'm trying to think in my head how it compares to my king at home but this could be a bit bigger this could be like a super king it's really really wide um and then you've got a chaise long is that what that is i think so um, with some storage this is, i think this lifts no it doesn't it is drawers yeah so it's got two drawers down there and then your chest of drawers here which has some really good um power outlets on top some usb a slots there nice big tv again so three tvs in the room which is pretty good and there's your other side table there some resistance bands i think rachel was doing some stretching with those <laughs> and then out onto the balcony so the master bedroom also has a door out onto that balcony um yeah and then the sort of highlight i think of this master bedroom is actually the bathroom <laughs> that's attached onto it with this beautiful bath the bath even has a seat and some jets I actually have some Epsom salts I got in Target and I feel like having an Epsom salt soak in this bath is just going to be 
amazing. Here is the vanity area there with a huge mirror. That mirror is ginormous. Now this bathroom area again is just gorgeous. Another vanity area there. And this gorgeous walk-in rainfall shower. Yeah, it's fab. <laughs> I'll definitely be coming into this room to have my showers because it's so much nicer. Just a lovely open space as well. And we've got a mirror there as well. So I think that probably does it um, for the room. There is a closet here as well. There's only actually one closet in the master bedroom. It's a decent size. It's actually not as big as that one that was in the studio. Um, but yeah, there's only one closet in there. There is lots of storage space still like with all the drawers and everything. We are back now out to our hallway mirror where we started. And that is it, that's the room tour. We all excited to enjoy the room? Yeah. Slash also exhausted, having come off the ship today yeah. and waited yeah. till 4 p.m. for a room and just all really want a bit of a rest. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably a more accurate description. We have come to Epcot for extended evening hours today. We're actually meeting some friends. We're meeting our friends Luke and Rich and Natasha. Mom has decided to stay in this evening. She's a little bit tired. Um, Dad is already on a mission with the photo passes, so we have to stop and do a photo now. Not sure what's going on. So we just got the super zoom picture. The camera is actually over here by the monorail and it zooms really far out and then takes your picture, which is better than the one. We thought we were getting our picture before, but we actually got the one where like it sort of does a wide angle on your face and we all look really bizarre. Luke and Rachel are joining us from International Gateway so we're kind of walking around towards that area. They are doing the cast member previews over here for the, what is it, Journey Into the Water? Journey Into the Water, is that what it's called? The Moana area that's opening up in Epcot. They actually are gonna have DVC and AP previews, but it's the day after we leave, so I don't think we'll get to do it. What's it called, Journey Into the Water? Journey of Water. Journey of the Water. There's too many like journeys under the sea, into the water, you know, into the imagination. Oh. And wow, look, you can see. That's come on so much since we were here last. Wow. I actually don't know. I haven't really been keeping up to date with the construction updates and stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to now go and see what food and wine places we come across. Rachel was saying the poutine is supposed to be good. Yeah. What group are we getting? 188. What's boarding right now? 58. 158. 150. 150. I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> <sighs> Our first bit of food is the braised beef poutine from the refreshment port that is right here, just beside Canada. The Canada line is insane right now. Super busy. But Rachel, you heard this was good? Yeah, can't remember who. Can't remember how, can't remember where, but just know. It actually looks amazing. I only got two forks. You only got two forks? Your mom was doing weird things with the fork. Your mom was doing weird things with the fork, you mean? Ah, you were seen. Oh, okay. That just threw you off. You forgot how many people we were. <laughs> We've come into Odyssey, and this is the famous Brussels sprouts that we absolutely loved last year. Natasha is with us. She's the one that got us hooked on the Brussels sprouts. I never thought I would say that I would be very excited to come to Food & Wine to eat Brussels sprouts. They are the best. Our first ride of the evening is going to be living with the land. We've picked up some more friends. We've got Luke and Rich with us now. Of all, many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. Next up for us now is Guardians of the Galaxy. We got one of the extended evening virtual queue lines. It opens at 6 p.m. and uh, you can obviously only join it if you're in the deluxe resort and you qualify for the extended evening hours. But it's definitely a good one because it is not gonna be as busy as it would be during regular park hours. There will be no lightning lane entries and I feel like that makes a big difference too. So if you're familiar with the virtual queue, you will understand how great it is to actually be able to get all the way into 
the first part of the pre-show without waiting. They've actually cut off part of the queue, which is so nice. Sometimes even with the virtual queue, you can be waiting a good like 45, 50 minutes. But this is a pretty much walk on. We are now through the pre-shows, getting it on the ride. I absolutely love this ride. It never gets old to me. It's so exciting every time I go on it. I wonder what song we're gonna get. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite song is. I like the ones that are a bit more upbeat. Well, I don't know, like, I don't really like Conga. I feel like Conga doesn't go that well, but I pretty much like all of the others. I love September. I love the Blondie song. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. We are just leaving the park now. We were gonna do Nemo on the way out, but that is down. Um, but really enjoyed the ride on Soar, and we were in row one, which is always the best row, right up the top. And we were in the center as well, so we didn't have any bendy screens. Blah, blah, blah. 